play with my food. I don't, honest. <laughs> Welcome to the Scotch Sonnet Show! Hello, my fellow children of the Chilies. Welcome to another episode of the Scotch Sonnet Show. Tonight, we will be tasting some jalapeno chili jam made with flame roasted bird's eye chilies. This, is, uh, this comes from Lidl, which is a, a supermarket here in the UK that's uh, it's got some very European uh, goods in it. Uh, lots of stuff from uh, Germany. Mostly stuff from sort of Germany, to be honest. Um, loads of selection, loads of groceries. Very few hot chili type products though, um, which isn't really a surprise, I suppose. But uh, yeah, they've just started introducing a few different ranges of things that have some spice. They still only have their, uh, their mixed chilies, which are like a selection of very mild. I mean, it says two, Two peppers out of three peppers. They're not medium heat. They're 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 like they're like bell peppers. They're like you know there's 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 no heat to them really. Um, very very mild if there is. Um, milder than sriracha. There you go. There's as an example. Very mild chilies. Red and green. Usually three or four in the bag. Only cost about seventy five pence or something. Very tasty. Don't get me wrong. And occasionally they do have a, a little bit of heat and warmth to them, but nothing nothing really. It's just a, a little warmth. Uh, but anyway, moving on to the, the jam. So, um, relish made with red pepper, jalapeno, and flame roasted bird's eye chilies. Have I said that already? Well, if I have, I'm saying that again. The ingredients are glucose syrup, sugar, water, diced red pepper, 12%, white wine vinegar, jalapeno chili, 2%, oh, okay, gelling agent, pectins, flame roasted bird's eye chilies, Acidity regulator and uh, citric acid and dextrose. So, there we go. Suitable for vegans. Uh, best before NC rim of lid. Oh, yeah, another two years yet. We're all good. Uh, anything else of interesting? Safety button pops when seal is broken. Very interesting. Nobody's tampered. It's all good. Okay, and of course we'll be tasting this with the uh, the trusty Chase the Heat spoon, mother of pearl, no less. Let's just get straight into it. Eh? You get a nice pop off the jar. You do. It's not just hot sauce bottles. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if it works. Everybody knows these work. These have been around for years, but yep, makes a little poppy noise now. Okay, um, I'll bring the jar closer up. You can see there are some bits in it. Now that I've taken the lid off, yeah. And if I turn it around, there it is. Jalapeno chili jam. What is that, see? Specially selected. This is like their finest. That's what's that, Tesco finest. Uh, all their, their sort of select ranges, you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. Um, I can't actually remember how much this cost, but I think it was about a pound, so. It's not, uh, it's not particularly expensive. Definitely smells like a, it says jam, but it is more of a, uh, I think it's more of a chutney than it is a jam. I don't know if I'd just straight put this on toast, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe cheese on toast. Yeah, it's definitely got that sort of chutney kind of smell. Um, I don't know if you can see actually in the, in the lid here. You can see all the sort of seeds and things. So it's definitely got some uh, some chilies in it, that's for sure. Yeah, put myself forward a bit again. Try to see if I can pick anything out, but... Maybe some red pepper smell, definitely a bit of vinegar. I can smell the sweetness, but... Uh, oh, it also says, I'm new. I missed that. I'm new! Isn't that nice? 
Uh, okay, let's get stuck in with this spoon. I don't imagine this will be particularly hot. It'll be, you know, I'm just hoping to find some jalapeno, bird's eye, some kind of chilli flavour in it, that's all. It's a nice big spoonful. Mm. It does have a little bit of tingle. Sweet and zesty. It's got a slight tang to it. Definitely get the red pepper flavour. Um, there is, there is actually, there is a, a hint, of the, there is a taste there of jalapeno, which is nice. It's very nice. Um, and actually, it's sweet enough that I think I would get away with just putting this on toast. Yes, I'm going to be the only person in the house that uses this. Uh, I can guarantee that. So. I can just go ahead and put the spoon back in again, it doesn't matter. I know lots of people are concerned about the old double dip, but uh, it's only me, so... Mm. Seeds have still got their, their sort of firmness to them. They haven't softened or anything by being in the in the jam. Hmm. Oh, tiny piece of pepper there. I'm going to say it was just red pepper. It wasn't jalapeno. Yeah, you can see all the little sort of chunks of pepper through it. I'm assuming the jalapeno itself has been mushed to oblivion, apart from the seeds. Um, it's very nice. It's very nice. Um, I was worried that you know the twelve percent jalapenos would just be seeds, but uh, no, it's a, there's a there is a taste of jalapeno there. Um, I don't really get any of the bird's eye. I was hoping to pick up some of that, but I mean there's only two percent bird's eye chilies in it. So is it? What? Wait a minute. No. Sorry, two percent jalapenos in it. I'm surprised I picked up anything there. Uh, bird's eye chilies come after that, so there must be less than 2% bird's eye chilies. That's usually how ingredients work, isn't it? The, the, the thing with the most, down to the thing with the least kind of thing. And bird's eye chilies are the third last ingredient, so uh, very, very little bird's eye chilli in this. Um, like I say, it does have a slight tang to it. There's no, there's no heat. There's no heat at all. But uh, there's a slight sort of zesty tanginess, slight bit of zing, I suppose you could call it. Uh, it's very nice, very nice. Um, that would hit you on the sort of the aftertaste kind of thing, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm quite pleased with that. Good purchase. <coughs> <coughs> no, I tickle at the back of my throat there. Right. Well, I will. Uh, I will not put the spin away. I'll, I'll watch that when the video is done. And uh, a couple of shout outs. We'll say. Uh, excuse me. This is burping on camera and everything. Very. Very ungentlemanly of me. Yes, I think we're all done with that. So excuse me. So shout out. Uh, Chase the Heat, obviously. Johnny Scoville. Uh, love to you, brother. Great channel. Well over 100k by now, so let's keep trucking in the bus. Uh, who else? Red Grizzly Heat Griffin. Thomas Elwood Bailey. Steve, heat my shorts. I believe there was some kind of wildfire, I think, or something, so hope everything's okay there. Arr, who else? Joe Dublaz. There we go, Joe Dublaz. And I, and I didn't write down the list, so this is going to be terrible. Um, Johnny Small Pepper. He's always worth a shout out. Great guy. Just climbed a mountain or a hill. I'm trying to remember the height of it. it must have been a hill. But I don't know, maybe the standards are different in America as to what are between the difference between a hill and a mountain, I don't, I'm not sure. But here it's a hill. Well anyway, uh, shout outs are done. Entertaining video nonetheless, whatever it was he climbed, it was entertaining, it was good. Right, okay, so uh, that's all that done. And of course, last but not least, shout out to my lovely wife and my son. Love to you both. Oh, how can I forget? We'll try this again. The Chili Podfather. Shout out to you, brother. Hope you're having a good time.
And uh, now, last but not least, my wife and son. Love to you both. Oh, what a mess. What a mess I made of that. I'm not starting again. Um, the, the jar would be already opened. So, and I know how it tastes already. So, and we're not having any do-overs. So that's that. Love to you. Love to my wife. Love to my son. And uh, that'll be that. Uh, have a good evening. Love everybody. Have a great time. Like your life. Comment kindly or not at all. Not necessarily on this video. And uh, subscribe to a magazine. Go on. They could do with some help. Go on. Die in industry, apparently. So go and subscribe to a magazine. Okay, well, bye-bye.